Hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today we are recapping episode two of season one of Southern Charm Savannah, par for the strip golf course. You can watch this show on Bravo or Peacock for full context. For those who have forgotten, in the previous episode, Ashley's son's bed got on fire and our husband Dennis burnt his legs. In our confessional, Ashley talks about how she and Dennis got married when she was pregnant with Izzy, but they ended up divorcing. Eight years later, they remarried because she thought it was the best thing for her child and also they lived in Dubai and for her to live with her son and her ex-husband, they had to be married. Ashley says that her child is happy, but she's not. Ashley continues saying that her and Dennis haven't had any bedroom relations since her son was born and she feels really lonely. I personally don't think that parents should stay together for their children. As someone who doesn't have kids, take my opinion with a grain of salt, I think it's more important that children see a loving relationship between two adults that want to be together because it sets them up for what they're going to expect in relationships going forward. But if this works for them, that's great. We cut to the next morning returning to the house where the fire happened and Dennis has bandages all over his legs. Apparently the fan in Izzy's room caught on fire, which then set the bed on fire. Luckily Dennis was able to put it out in under 10 minutes, but even that 10 minutes did so much damage to that room. Of course after this, Ashley is understandably emotional. Dennis takes his time comforting Ashley and hugs her and it's actually a really sweet moment to see. In her confessional, Ashley talks about how she always knew that that room had some bad juju. Then she talks about Savannah's past and all of the ghosts there. Yellow fever, slave mistreatment, and the genocide of the Native American community. And I'm sure much more. We cut to Happy and Azam hosting a dinner for Daniel and his date Amber. Happy and Daniel are practically siblings. Their parents dated for 10 years, so they grew up together. Happy talks about how some of her family doesn't support her relationship with Azam because he's a Muslim. They expected her to marry a rich white boy from Georgia, but instead she's marrying a Muslim country man who was still born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. So I would also consider him country. Happy says that her mom doesn't support our marriage because of Azam's religion. And then Happy calls out her mom's hypocrisy because she dated Daniel's dad, who wasn't in the same religion as them, because he was Jewish. Happy continues to say that her mom's argument was, well, I didn't marry him. You were with him for 10 years. Who cares about a piece of paper? That's a long time to be with someone, to not consider them, like, your partner. I find it really annoying when people do the rules for thee but not for me stuff, because if you can be the exception, why can't other people be the exception too? But regardless, if your daughter wants to, what's the word I'm looking for? But regardless, if your daughter wants to convert to Muslim, she should be allowed to do that. And maybe Azam wants to convert to Catholic or Christian or whatever, and he should be allowed to do that too. Or maybe they don't. Maybe they both have their own religions and that's fine too. It has nothing to do with anybody else. I don't really understand people's hang-ups on other people's religions. That's a conversation between the two people and that's it. <laughs> anyway, Happy talks about how her grandmother has been super supportive of her relationship with Azam and she's been there every step of the way. Happy says that her grandmother goes to church every Sunday and holds no judgment and that's what it means to be a Christian. I think not judging people and allowing people to love who they love and marry who they want to marry is more about just being a good person. I mean, if it isn't hurting anybody, I feel like it's nobody's business. Anyway, we go back to Ashley's house and Hannah comes over for a visit. They talk about the fire and Ashley starts getting anxious, so they decide to go for a walk just to get out of the house. They drink champagne and sit in the park and talk. And Ashley explains her relationship with Dennis. Ashley talks about how it feels like their relationship is more platonic and she just feels like she's rooming with a friend and she feels lonely. Hannah also opens up and says that she wishes that Louis would grow up more and she doesn't want to marry him until he does. After that talk with Hannah, Ashley, Daniel, and Louis meet up for some golfing and despite Hannah literally saying, I wish Louis would grow up, Ashley suggests to them, hey, let's do strip golf. Ashley wins, so she makes the boys remove their shirt. Ashley then misses, so she has to remove her shirt, but she decides she's gonna remove her pants too. And of course she's wearing a see-through one-piece lingerie. And the nippy blur is back, y'all. Ashley does more golf in her lingerie and then puts her pants back on after the last hole. She then wins all the rest of the golf game, so per her and Daniel's agreement, she's setting him up to do a drag show. And Daniel tells Louie, hey, you should do it with me. And Louie's like, <laughs> no. Now, I don't have a problem with people doing strip golf. However, I'm kind of curious if it was like an adult only golf course. 
I've been to many a golf course and I haven't seen an adult only golf course, but I mean, I don't live in Savannah, Georgia, so I don't know what they have down there. So them playing strip golf, at first my concern is like for just other people in general about the fact that they're not consenting to watching you guys play strip golf, you know? They don't want to see nippies and they don't get to have the blur over them in real life. And also, if there are kids there, that's like a whole nother can of worms which I won't open. But yeah, I do think the strip golf thing was a little weird. And especially for her to do that after Hannah's like, I really wish Louie would grow up. It's almost like Ashley was like, I'm gonna make Louie be more immature. <laughs> Let's do some strip golf. And now, like, Louie and Daniel both did it as well. Like, you know, they're a part of that too. So I'm not putting all the blame on Ashley. I'm just saying it's kind of a little strange, in my opinion. We then cut to Catherine's downtown apartment, and her parents are visiting her. Her dad makes comments about the apartment being in an alley and how it's such a small place because it's a studio. Catherine tells her parents that she wants to leave her job in marketing and start a career in design. Her mom kind of laughs about it, and then both of them kind of seem disappointed. Her mom tells Catherine that events take a lot of planning and you barely get out of bed in the morning. Catherine says that it's something that she wants to do and it's something that she loves. Her parents pretty much just accept that she's going to do it and she asks her dad to sum up what she said. He said and I quote, you told us to back the hell off. This is what I'm gonna do whether you like it or not, which I love that. They all laugh and like it's really nice to see the parents being supportive of her even if it's not what they had hoped for their daughter. Ashley picks up Nelson to shop for a gift for Azam and Happy for their engagement party, and she finds a cute little cheese board. In her confessional, Ashley talks about being a Christian, but recognizing all the hypocrisy in the Christian church. Ashley and Nelson then talk about him being Googled at the party. We already know how that ends, so I'm just gonna skip that. <laughs> We cut to Louie picking up Hannah to walk around the park and have a drink. They talk about Louie's sock business until Hannah asks what Louie did yesterday. Louie stumbles in his words and he tries to explain. And Hannah's like, you seem nervous. Louie admits that he thinks it'll make Hannah mad and he tells her that he played strip golf. Hannah's smile dropped instantly. I guess he was right. It did make her really mad. Louis says that he and Daniel only had to take off their shirts, but it was at a golf club, so it was pretty embarrassing. He then tells Hannah that Ashley lost her clothes and she was in a lace bathing suit thing. Has this man never seen lingerie before? Hannah says that she was raised to keep her clothes on, and Louis says that he was too, but it was Ashley's idea. Hannah then tells him that she thinks it's dumb that he played some strip golf. Louis agrees that it was trashy, and Hannah questions the intentions behind it. And her confessional she says that she feels a bit betrayed by Ashley and in Louis's confessional he says that he says that he was being dumb and he regrets it. It's Happy's bridal shower and Ashley shows up in a black romper and high heel wedges. In Catherine's confessional she says that Ashley looks like she belongs in a club even though Catherine is wearing a short black dress at the bridal shower too. Ashley greets Catherine and immediately there's shade. Catherine says that she thought she looked like she was going to a slutty funeral but then Ashley walked in. Happy says, Ashley's always got that covered. Ha ha ha. Just kidding. And poor Ashley looks like her soul has been absolutely crushed. Catherine and Hannah go outside and they bond over putting others first and not always pursuing what they want. Hannah talks about how her dad used to be her hero, but she saw him cheat on her mom and it changed everything. In her confessional, she says that she moved to Savannah for her job. And even though trucking sales isn't her passion, she wanted financial independence from her father. Hannah says she's grateful for what she went through because it made her independent. Ashley is then talking to Happy's mom. Ashley talks about how it's such a beautiful thing to have someone love you and love your family. And then immediately Happy's mom is like, well, Happy can't have a cross in her house. Then she talks about being friends with Deepak Chopra and Deepak told her that Azam is Happy's soulmate. For those who are curious, Deepak Chopra is an Indian American author, new age guru, and alternative medicine advocate. Later, Ashley joins Hannah and Catherine outside. She talks about how she wants to do a cleansing in her house because the vibes just feel off. 
And immediately Catherine's like, the house or you? What the heck, Catherine? <laughs> then Catherine's like, I have a hair appointment on Tuesday. So if it's on Tuesday, I can't go. Even though Ashley didn't even say a day yet or anything. Then they all go back inside. Happy opens her gifts and loves everything. And literally, I'm so anxious watching her open gifts because I hate when people watch me open things. It's so awkward. Ashley tells Catherine and Hannah that she went golfing the other day. And Catherine's like, yeah, you were essentially naked on the golf course. And then Ashley replies, I didn't think it would get to that. What do you mean? <laughs> She's the one who chose to take off her shirt and pants. She only had to lose her shirt. I still don't know why she took off her pants as well. I guess just cuz? The next scene, Catherine and Lyle are crabbing behind Catherine's parents' house. They get a bucket full of crabs and they talk about the strip golf outing. Lyle says that he's glad he missed it and he doesn't plan to golf with Ashley anytime soon. Nobody asked Lyle. <laughs> Lyle then talks about how he wakes up at 6 a.m. and how hard he's working so that he can afford Catherine lifestyle and he knows that she has a trust fund but he wants to afford it on his own. Now we're at Hannah's apartment and Hannah invited over Ashley for a little chit chat. Ashley comes in, they open wine and Hannah immediately dives into the conversation. Hannah's like why did you suggest strip golf? Because after their conversation in the park she didn't expect that. Ashley replies that Louie didn't do anything wrong and she thinks that she didn't do anything wrong either. She apologizes that it upset Hannah but it wasn't a big deal to her. Then she goes on about double standards she talks about she talks about being proud of her stretch marks and loving who she is and wanting to show it off <laughs> and then in Hannah's confessional she says you had more plastic surgery than Pamela Anderson and then she says that she doesn't believe that the whole strip golf and double standards thing has anything to do with feminism Hannah tells Ashley that she respects her beliefs and values and instantly ashley is like my beliefs and values have nothing to do with it and she gets defensive hannah's like well it's not about that and ashley tells her to be careful with how she phrases it then it ends on ashley saying i was not naked thank you for joining me on this recap of episode two of southern charm savannah do you think the strip golf was trashy or do you think it was just in good fun let me know in the comments make sure you like or dislike the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next video bye guys